Yeah, it is true that um, I have worked with uh, both uh, digital and uh, print media. Fundamental difference between writing for a, a newspaper and writing for social media would be to understand that uh, for newspapers there is no specific community of readers that you whom you can imagine. On the other hand, in the social media there is a kind of emotional bond, an affective bond that a community has already established and looking forward to uh, responding to the views and perspectives that you provide in social media. On the other hand, uh, there is absolutely no way of understanding the you know, range of responses that uh, will be generated after you write something in a newspaper. And in the case of uh, social media, it will be more immediate. And the other thing is that if you write in uh, social media, that actually is the limit of what you write. Uh, newspapers are not going to, I mean, unless, unless it is, you know, kind of so important for them, they are not going to pick up uh, threads from whatever you write in the social media. On the other hand, if you write something in the newspaper, you can immediately give a, an, give a link or give uh, some images of that in the social media and then the kind of community that you think are interested in your kind of work will gather there and then give responses. So that kind of leverage is not available with uh, newspapers. But on the other hand, uh, uh, you know, newspapers uh, take your uh, views and perspectives to, uh, you know, people and places uh, with whom you have absolutely no uh, direct connection. Which means that, uh, you know, a lagged response is also possible. For example, once you write something in a newspaper, probably you could see a response after two weeks, three weeks. In, in social media, on the other hand, it will be quite immediate. And the other thing is that the newspaper, particularly when they are online, would generate some kind of discussion, but then that discussion is not very focused. On the other hand, if you write in social media, the discussion will be much more focused than in the newspapers. But of course, there is this uh, legacy of uh, newspapers having more credibility than social media, that kind of part of a belief system. And then that still prevails uh, strongly among uh, many people. Suppose something comes in the newspaper that has more credibility than, you know, something that you write in, in social media. And there is also this feeling that you will be more careful and more, uh, you know, kind of responsible when you write for a newspaper rather than when you write for social media because social media kind of more transient than, than newspapers. Another thing is that in social media, you have an opportunity to correct immediately, edit out or edit in something that you want to you know, a kind of add as an additional information. But if you are writing in the newspaper, that's going to take a longer time to do the kind of corrections that uh, you require. And here is actually the complementarity between newspaper and social media going to come in. Suppose you make a blunder in writing in the newspaper. Immediately, you can actually go to the social media page and then say that, you know, this mistake has happened and I would like to correct it. I mean, so that way there is a complementarity also between newspapers and social media. Over the time, this has also evolved. So whether you are writing for uh, print or digital media, what I think uh, uh, is important is not actually the difference, but the kind of complementarities that are developing between newspapers and social media. Yeah, I mean, if somebody asked me this question, where would I like to write, uh, you know, in, in print or digital media, I would say both, I mean, because both have become extremely important in, you know, kind of sharing your perspectives with a kind of audience whom you would like to interact with you. If I'm, I'm, I'm pressed to say which will be my preference, I will say print media. The reason is that uh, print media has this leverage of, uh, you know, kind of getting across, as I was telling earlier, a larger audience than uh, uh, social media. Technically speaking, yes, social media has unlimited audience, but the kind of platforms that we write in, for example, you know, if it is a blog or if it is a, uh, if it is a Facebook or, a, a, you know, a Twitter, it's constrained by the number of followers you have, number of friends you have, the number of um, uh, people who have signed in for your blog, etc. Whereas in the case of a newspaper, it is uh, much more spread across different uh, kind of sections and then uh, the responses also could in that sense come from a widely varying audience. 
Uh, so my experience is also like that. I mean, for example, when I when I when I've been writing a column for a newspaper for the last eight years, so uh, you know, if I was actually doing it in a in a um, kind of social media platform, then the kind of audience that uh, it would reach would have been very limited. On the other hand, this has become a permanent feature of the newspaper, and then there are people who are in a, in a certain sense, you know, kind of for the sake of reading it and expecting that it would appear at a particular point of time both are a fleeting audience i mean we don't we don't tend to think that okay newspaper has a more consolidated solid audience and uh, you know social media has a different uh, you know uh, kind of fluid audience that's not the case but even then even then the kind of solidity that one can expect from writing in a newspaper you can never expect from writing in a digital media but on the other hand if you want to convey something quickly uh, 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 you, you know, exploiting the immediacy of the platform that you are using, uh, then social, uh, you know, social media or digital platform is much better. So it, it depends on what you really want to uh, write. I mean, suppose you want to write an obituary immediately. I mean, you know, and, and put it across, and you don't want to wait for another two days, three days. Then you know, digital medium is actually the the best option. Uh, and uh, you know later you can write an analytical piece later on in the newspaper on the same topic uh, nobody stops you from doing that but the preference is uh, given for print precisely because of this particular reason that uh, that uh, it helps you uh, to get across a larger audience whom you don't have a control over and then you don't know uh, you know you can't block uh, you know as you do in facebook or or a or a social media platform a reader of the newspaper uh, 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 you know, so that, but at, at the same time, there is this, there is this leverage that as a writer you are getting to receive at least a lagged response from uh, a different, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of sets of people. And that is not actually possible with uh, digital, digital media. Somebody has a celebrity status in a, in a uh, 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 social media, even then, only when the newspapers pick up pieces from their social media page and publishes it and prints it out. It, it reaches a still wider audience. So that I think is actually the charm of, uh, uh, of print. And again, as I said earlier, people still believe that what comes in the newspaper has more credibility than uh, what comes in the social media. Uh, so that is one reason why I think, you know, if I have a marginal <laughs> uh, 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 kind of uh, bias, uh, that will be towards uh, the print media. The kind of affordances that uh, uh, you know certain type of social media platforms provide requires that you need a certain kind of brevity in communicating ideas in those platforms. Like for example, Twitter, there is a limit to number of uh, letters that one can use when you tweet. Uh, more reliance has to be given to the images that or links that you provide along with. In Instagram also, I think, uh, again, it is supposed to be more of a visual, uh, you know, kind of medium than a, a writing uh, medium. So, there has to be a blend of uh, a powerful visual and a very short write-up, uh, so that it will be, you know, kind of hitting the uh, uh, target. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, in Facebook also, I mean, Facebook actually provides you the facility to write long articles in case you want it. But then, uh, most of the social media users will not have the patience to go through all that you write there up. So, brevity becomes an important aspect in uh, Facebook also. But on the other hand, uh, you know, print media gives you this uh, facility to elaborate the finer theoretical or analytical perspective that you may want to kind of supplement to substantiate your perspective. That actually is sometimes not possible with uh, social media because of the specificities of the affordances that these platforms provide for us. It's also not possible to write in a similar way in uh, social media and uh, the print media. The style and writing techniques um, and the language that you use in print media has to go in tandem with the style of the newspaper in which you write. And also the, the magazine or periodical whatever, right? And also the other people who write and interact with you in that uh, kind of domain. So uh, there are various other uh, specificities of 
the particular newspaper in which you are writing and the newspapers in general that one need to take into consideration when one uh, writes in a newspaper. Another thing is that uh, is regarding the impact. Suppose you write a very interesting point in your social media platform that may you know kind of elicit some quick response. Whereas if you write that in an article form in a newspaper, it, ha it could even have an immediate policy impact because it will be widely read and discussed by people uh, uh, you know whom you think uh, are relevant in uh, making those ideas uh, uh, you know uh, kind of as material uh, you know uh, the material prospects of those ideas you know can also be taken up by some people who are at the right places for doing that. That is actually not immediately possible with social media unless as I told earlier these uh, social media uh, you know bits are you know kind of picked up by uh, in newspapers. So, there is a policy impact that one expects uh, by writing in a, in a newspaper and that is more immediate than actually uh, you know the kind of immediacy that you see in terms of uh, reception that you get in social media. This is precisely why I think uh, you know the language that you use in social media and the language that you use in a newspaper article has to be very different. Uh, and, and some of the sometimes you know like the kind of quick witted uh, points that you would try to uh, uh, you know engage with in uh, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook may not actually click with uh, newspaper articles that requires a different kind of uh, patience to uh, tease out your arguments and then substantiate your arguments, uh, convince your readers uh, the relevance of what you write and, and, and things like that. So, in that sense I think uh, these are two different mediums and, 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 and the way you write will differ from one medium to other, uh, another in the social media also. I mean what you write in Instagram may not be actually possible to be put up in Twitter. Same is true of uh, you know kind of blogs or uh, Facebook. Uh, in the case of a newspaper article also this is pertinent to a certain extent in the sense that the uh, uh, newspaper in which you write for example matters a lot. Uh, whether it is a regional language newspaper or an English language uh, you know uh, a kind of newspaper etc also matters and also the and uh, there are intricate uh, aspects of writing in newspapers I mean the, the, the media uh, group their own you know kind of uh, historical antecedents etc will also bear a uh, will have a bearing on what you write in the newspaper media which will be taken up by people for uh, you know kind of later criticism but nobody will actually uh, uh, you know kind of take you on for something that you, that you write in Facebook and then link uh, directly to uh, Zuckerberg. But on the other hand what you write in in, in a newspaper could probably be uh, linked to the management of uh, uh, the other particular uh, <laughs> newspaper. This will not happen in the case of uh, uh, something that you write in uh, in Facebook for example. So, uh, there are there are such uh, intricate uh, uh, complexities that one needs to uh, you know kind of address when while taking a decision to uh, write in a particular medium. So, whether it is newsprint or digital media those considerations have are becoming increasingly important. Yeah, the fact is that there are no you know a kind of immediate tips that one can give uh, for writing for digital media uh, because it is an evolving media and then uh, your own style of writing your own uh, you know kind of uh, uh, priorities uh, determine uh, what you write and how you write. But at the same time there are certain things uh, uh, you know out of our own experience with digital media in the last uh, two decades that we have come to understand. And one is that uh, the, the readers of digital media would prefer you to uh, you know kind of lure them to what you write. Uh, in order to attract them uh, you know you must put the most magnetizing aspect of your content first because in a newspaper we will say there is a pyramid structure. But that pyramid structure you say that the most important fact you write first. But probably that is not the strategy or the tactics that one can adopt with uh, uh, social media. On the other hand you know like the, there is a pyramid structure, but then you know the most magnetizing you, you know alluring uh, uh, you know part of your uh, writing should be actually given first. So, that people will get interested in. So, there is there is actually a need for getting people interested in reading your uh, a piece in social media. Uh, this is different from, from the newspaper. So, first tip I would say would be regarding this prioritizing what part of your content goes in first and it is not necessarily the most important part as we normally conceive a pyramid structure.
because most of the communication happens in digital media through visuals like images and, and videos. So, to have a, a successful blend of the visual and the text and the sound would be the you know kind of path towards success in the digital, digital media. Another uh, tip I suppose would be to have an idea about the, the kind of screen time that uh, your readers would spend uh, uh, you know in relation to whatever content you are putting up. So, how much you write depends upon the importance of the topic from the perspective of the reader. So, the brevity that is required is not only in the digital media in terms of uh, you know uh, kind of fine tuning what you write but also in terms of uh, how much time people will take to read it. The another uh, aspect uh, that is important I think is to understand uh, that we are already flooded with facts, a lot of facts in that sense and uh, uh, there needs to be uh, an idea on our side how to condense these facts and make the analytical connections. People are coming to your uh, write up not to get facts alone, they need to know the connections between facts and that analytical connection has to be made very clear to the readers because facts can be gathered from multiple sources whereas your analysis can be gathered only from your write up. That kind of uh, exclusiveness of your uh, writing is what makes people uh, come and read up your stuff. So, in that sense there ought to be a reasonable uh, you know kind of uh, connection between the amount of facts that you use and the analytical perspective that you provide in your write up. Uh, finally, one also ought to have an ability to make use of the kind of feedback loops that are available in digital media uh, which are very important because uh, such feedback loops are immediately available in, 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 in the social media and particularly you know when you write in the uh, uh, digital uh, platforms. There will be suggestions coming up from all kinds of uh, uh, you know people and places and you, re re you really need to gear up yourself to respond to those uh, feedback. And in the case of a newspaper article for example, such feedback might take uh, uh, you know much more time, but on the other hand this is much quicker in, in, in social media and if you are not able to respond to that, then you know the you, your content becomes immediately irrelevant. So, the, the nature of your writing probably would uh, uh, you know kind of solicit quick responses from people wherein you need to advance your ideas in a better way than you have already done or there are many amendments that you need to make or you may need to provide uh, you know kind of better rationalization of what you have already written up or you know like you need to for example, uh, uh, you know kind of add content so that the explanation is uh, uh, much more impactful. So, in all these respects I think uh, there is a need to respect uh, the feedback loops that are available in the digital media and if you are not able to do that then I think your writing will become irrelevant uh, you know much faster than you uh, expect it otherwise to uh, you know disappear. So, in that sense there is a strong connection between responding to feedback loops and uh, uh, your uh, successful presence in the digital media.